Hi everyone, <clears throat> it's Nancy Bastine. Do you all remember this piece of paper that I made? Remember we glued this and I stuck it to the wrong side of the contact paper and I salvaged it and didn't throw it away because you know I wasn't going to throw it away and look at the back side. Look how pretty that is. I just glued more paper on it and glued another piece of um, white tissue paper over the top of it. Now I don't know which side I want for my outer side and inside, but what I want to do now is it's got crinkles and that just gives it more texture. But what I want to do is I want to put some metallic paints on it. These metallics from uh, Deco Art. So that's what we're going to do. And this one's champagne gold. And I just want to put just a little bit on. And get me a brush here. And wet it a little bit. I just want it to shimmer. I don't want anything to cover up what's already on here. Any paints to cover up. I just want the shimmer on here. And ooh, that's pretty. That gold is really pretty on there. This brush is... Uh, uh. really is pretty and it goes in all those little nooks and crannies and it'll be so pretty on there I got you way far up guys because this is such a big so I moved my boom arm up so you weren't right on top of me I hope that's okay I hope you can see good alright so we use that now I want to use some moss pearl and that's kind of a greenish color but they're also translucent that it's gonna just kind of give a shimmer on here and not really cover any of the paper and mix some water with that and it got a little darker than I wanted it so I think I'm going to take some of it off because it's covering up too much of what I didn't want it to. I just wanted to highlight. I, I just put too much on. So this is where, you know what, comes in play. The good old baby wipes. And sorry guys, I've got a runny nose today. I've taken an allergy pill, so... But I had all my windows open yesterday and today because it's so nice and all night last night. So kind of let the pollen in. So I'm just going to kind of wipe some of this back. See that? I just want to give it a shimmer. throw the baby wipes away because then your hands have a shimmer too <laughs> oh my goodness fall's coming the leaves are starting to fall off the trees and they're starting to sh not all of them are turning yet see how pretty these are going to be see that we don't want to waste all that paint these will make good stuff to put on here next time I make one so I'm going to set those over there to dry. Now I want to use, I don't think I'm going to use the mink pearl on this side, but I am going to use the white pearl. And I'm not going to put as much on. That's plenty. Rinse my brush. I'm going to have some little pine cones if anybody wants pine cones to decorate with. 
mine are not the regular size, they're the little itty bitty ones. I just wanted it here and there and everywhere, you know, just a little bit, everything. And then we're going to stamp on it. My little Belle's out there romping through the grass. She just loves to romp through the grass. Now see how pretty that turned that out? And it didn't take away from the pretty papers that are underneath but it just gave it some character I like to say character now we need to dry it up a little bit oh sorry I hit the boom arm gosh I gotta quit doing that excuse me guys I'm sitting on the cord of the I'm either rolling on it with my chair or Belle sitting on it. I do want to paint the other side off, so I want this to dry up enough I can turn it over and paint the other side too. Belle's knocking on the door. She doesn't scratch on the door, she knocks on the door. She bangs her whole body up against the door to come in. She's a funny doggy. Alright, I think that's dry enough. Try not to hit the boom arm. I'll flip it over and we're going to do this side also. We're going to paint on this side. This side I'm going to use the Mink Pearl. Just so we have a little bit of different. Pretty. Like I said, I won't know which side to use, but it will be both sides I use anyway because one will be on the inside of the book and one will be on the outside of the book. I was not going to throw this away even though I had made a mistake. I wanted to make sure that I just didn't can it and went on and corrected my mistake and it worked out fine. Some places you can see contact, and you know, that doesn't bother me. Like over here, I can see the contact paper, but that's on the edge. Okay, let's do some champagne gold. And a little bit of white pearl.
how that makes that so pretty. Okay, guys, real life. I need to let the dog in. Be right back. Okay, let's dry this up. stuck my thumb on that. Did you see me stick my thumb on that hot thing? That didn't feel too good. I have my bucket of stamps here. Some that I wanted to use. Some mark. bucket. I want to use that one. And I want to use that one. Hang on guys, I gotta go get my other bucket. these kind of papers I like to use the ones from um, Claudia Halmut her stamps I like to use those I like that one and of course her other that one them at Tuesday morning and I've never seen them there since. That little one. And I like to use this because it makes marks like this. And here's a little tree. I like to use that one too. And I think that's all of them that I want to use. Uh, I don't want to make so many things on it that it it makes it too busy. And of course, I'm going to use my Versafine ink. I'll show you how. makes marks. Am I out of frame? Yeah. I guess I need to go right here in the middle where you guys can see and then You have to kind of push hard with these because of the nooks and crannies and the 
um, the bumpy bumps in the paper and on the, you know, on here. I like this. Flower. See? And then you doodle around them and it really makes for pretty paper to use. I'm out of, no, I'm not out of frame up here. Just do what you want. Just do as many as you want. It just gives it interest. Make sure you go both upside down, inside out, so that if you want to turn your page that they're not all... I can't turn this. If I would like to, every time I stamped, I would like to turn it. But it's so big that I have a hard time doing that. So just make sure that if you have a directional stamp like this one, that you turn it upside down and put a few of them on upside down that way you can use your paper any way you want it doesn't have to be uh, all one direction okay I think I have enough of those See, these little round things like this don't matter. Little birdies are coming to visit me. I love the little birdies and the butterflies. I have a whole bunch of flowers that I don't know what they are. Vines and flowers all over my fence out there. I thought they were weeds, but they're not. They all come in blossom. The butterflies are all getting on them and... I was going to take it all out, and I'm not now because I can see that they're flowers, and they're fall flowers, spring flowers, summer flowers. In the summertime, they're just kind of... Uh... Now this one, I won't put the whole thing on. I'll just maybe put a little bit. I won't put the whole length of it on. I'll just do a few like so and see this is the reason you don't want to get a whole bunch of different a ton of different uh, stamps because it makes it busy enough with just the few that I have the same with this one And 
by the time you doodle on all of this and make it really, really pretty. All right, I think I have enough on that side. Let's um, see if we can dry it up a little bit before I flip it over. Did you see my fodder file of oh, menagerie I had yesterday trying to get all that stuff on that file? Oh, I'm not a collage artist whatsoever, but I sure learned yesterday what to do and what not to do. I'll show you. It turned out really cute. I'll show it to you because I got washi tape on it. And um, I think it came out really cute. So here's the front of it. Here's the front of it. See? Nature. Here's the orange. And then I, I made these a long time ago, these uh, paper clips. And see where I separated it with the um, washi tape and I put flowers. I collaged, I cut out these flowers off of the uh, napkin. These are um, pieces of, they're from hidden or glidden paint samples is what they're from. And I found these at Walmart, so I put them in the find. I got a whole stack of them. Today I found this, which was a herb fresh napkin that was given to me, so I just put that in here in that little pocket. So that's the inside, and then this is the outside, and see how pretty it is now that it's separated with the, the washi tape? And I wrote all the stuff on here. I painted it black and I wrote it on with the Posca pen. And I think it came out kind of pretty after I was struggling so hard with it yesterday. Anyway, I like it. And so this is my file fodder. And now I have to find some things that I have. I'm sure I've got a lot of ephemera that I have that can go in this. It's nature. Um, so... This goes in my little shoe box. And I have 11 more of them to go. We have 11, 11 more weeks to do it. It kind of turned out fun. I was a little frustrated with it, but now I know what to expect on decorating it. And uh, yeah, maybe I won't be doing collage on it. Maybe I'll be doing something else. I'm all unsituated here and I'm tangled up in the cord to the heat gun. Oh my gosh, Nancy. <sighs> okay. Let's flip this big puppy over. And let's stamp this side. Feels wonderful. It's not quite dry, see? I got paint on me, but oh well. It'll dry. It'll cure. It takes a while for it to cure before I ever use it anyway, so. Now that I wiped that off, I gotta put some more art guard on my hands. Because I'm being very vigilant about putting this on. I should have been using it all along with my brain tumor, but I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting I have a brain tumor. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it. It's not a malignant one. It's not one that 
you know, but it could grow and it could cause problems, so. Anyhow, don't know when I got it. I just had a seizure one day and I've never had one since. I had a seizure in the night, I guess. And then the next morning I had another one and um, I'm not on any seizure medicine. I just, I said, no way, I'm not going on that unless I continue to have them. I really put my foot down about them prescribing that stuff to you. Because they just want to dole it out to you and tell you you need to take it, you need to take it. Well, if I'm not going to have a seizure, why should I have to take the medicine? You know, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to take a drink. I'm getting thirsty. I'm talking too much. And my lips are getting choppy. And I know my chopsticks in here right here. Okay. I have ephemera stuck on here. Piece of ephemera from yesterday. Yeah. Caught on there. Alright, let's get to stamping. Let's get to stamping. Let's get her done. My nose is running away. Oh, Belle got stung, I told you the other day. She had hives all over. I gave her a, a allergy pill, and it they went away, so she's okay. She just needs to learn not to stick her nose and try to smell a bumblebee, because they don't like you trying to smell their behinders. <laughs> well, bumblebees don't like you doing that. And then when they fly away, and she tried to catch it in her mouth, mm-hmm. They don't like you to do that to them either. I think that's what happened to her because she, her whole nose and her side of her mouth were all swollen. And then she got hives all over her and she was a mess for a little while. But she got over it. Alright, that's all I'm going to do with those. I want some little ones. I'm really liking that um, paint I put on this. I don't think I'm going to put any trees on this side. I'm going to put more of these uh, these marks. Oh, there's that ephemera. Keeps coming back to haunt me. And I think I'm going to probably get out my paint markers, my, um, not my, the ones that are in the skinny little tubes, bottles, and make circles on here like this. Look, it's in that paper. Alright, I have enough of that. Now let's get some dots on here, and I'm getting paint, or ink on me. I got a glare so I can't see where I'm putting these. And I don't want to overpower so much. 